Here we are at number 28A via Occhio Marino. After a long and perilous plunge down the streets of Capri, we had no idea that it was going to be steep like this, but it is beautiful. And we've rented this house for two weeks, and everybody's coming over to visit. And this is the view. There's lemon trees, there are, there's every kind of flower. There's an olive tree, there's um, a fig tree actually that has no fruit on it right now. Um, bougainvillea, just every kind of flower. We came to live in a place for two weeks where we would have this incredible view. Up above is actually the town of Capri, what Christopher calls the Armani Zone. Every shop you can imagine, and restaurants that cost way too much. And it's a separate little cottage, I guess you'd call it, with a red tile roof, where um, Steve and Sandra have been hanging out. It's got a bedroom. It's actually even got a little built-in kitchen. And um, knock, knock. Okay, so here's a Casa Bianca with its very own satellite dish. Um, the only station they have it set on, they have it set on the BBC for us, but we've heard lots of things about Nigeria and Burma, but not very interesting. So we have no idea what's going on in the world. And then up at, can you do up at the very tip top? That's type, that's Vili Jovis. Up on top there is Vili Jovis, which was the villa of the Emperor Tiberius, who was famous for uh, liking little boys. And when he was, when they got too old, he would just throw them off the cliff. He wasn't a very well-liked fellow, and eventually someone smothered him in his sleep. Not a minute too soon, in my opinion. And we're hiking over there today. All right, let's hear it for the camera. Where are we? Hi, Mom. <laughs> we're on the... What is the name of this place? It's Villa uh, Jovis. Villa Jovis. It used to belong to an uh, emperor by the name of Tiberius. He was alive when Christ got crucified. It was his picture on the coin when Jesus said, it ain't my money. <laughs> okay, so here's the, I guess the front door of the house, main door. And here is our, our salone. That's how you say in Italian. This is our salone. 
um, with the beautiful and very Italian sort of furnishing things. They like things that are sort of elaborate, some kind of fake um, artifact on a piece of column. And I, I guess they really like this because they've put a very expensive light in it to highlight it that goes up and down. <laughs> this is our terrace. The place came complete with a very persistent pussycat who obviously belongs to someone else. Anyway, out here is the terrace and been sitting out here. Steve plays guitar out here. <laughs> 